Our oil change is another very important step for the annual tune-up. Uh, clean oil is going to ensure that all your engine components are protected uh, and running optimally. So uh, we're going to take out last year's old engine oil and replace it with some fresh clean oil. Uh, you got a couple options here. The first one being the more traditional method where you might tip the engine over on its side, put it up on some cinder blocks, find an oil pan, drain out the old oil, and hopefully find a place to recycle it. Or we've got a little bit of an easier method now with the oil extractor kit, which I'm going to show you how to use today. Makes the job really fast and really clean and easy, which is nice. So to get started, I'm going to take out my oil dipstick here, just remove it from the oil reservoir, clean any debris that might be around the neck of the engine here, or the oil neck rather, set the dipstick to the side. And then I'm going to use my oil extractor kit to take out the old engine oil just insert it all the way into the bottom of the oil reservoir and then begin pumping. And you can see the engine oil starting to come out. And I can set this to the side. The great thing about this little oil receptacle is you can take it to any Briggs & Stratton dealer. There's 12,000 of them around the country and they'll recycle that oil for you, which is a great little convenient transportation device. So we'll set that to the side and we'll add in some fresh oil. Always best to check your operator's manual to determine which oil um, is best for your engine. Uh, for my engine that I've got here, I'm going to use a Briggs & Stratton SAE30. Pretty typical for small engines, particularly on uh, walk mowers like this one. So. I've got an 18 ounce bottle here. Um, I'm gonna open it up and start adding in my oil. Don't need a funnel, but funnel makes the job a little bit easier and cleaner. The trick here is to add your oil in slowly um, and then checking the level throughout because it's important not to overfill the oil reservoir. That could be just as damaging as not having enough clean oil in there. So we'll take it a little bit slow here and add in our oil and show you how to do a check in just a second. Okay, so I put about half the bottle in there. Um, that's usually a good starting point. Um, I'm gonna take my funnel out here and then grab my dipstick that I had before. And we're gonna give it a cleaning. And then insert it back into the oil reservoir. So we wanna give one final check to make sure that our oil level is proper. Uh, what you're looking for on the dipstick is to make sure that your oil level is between the two arrow indicators on the end of the dipstick and this is looking pretty good right now so it looks like our oil level is just right i'm going to put it back in and our oil tune or our oil step is complete